today I'm going to talk about the water mixable oil paints or some people like to call them water soluble oil paints. A lot of people are quite sceptical about these because we're all taught that water and oil don't mix but they've actually developed um, a system a bit like an emulsion like you would do with a mayonnaise where you combine the two together to make these oil paints. I started with them first of all because I struggled a little bit, I have a touch of asthma and I struggled a little bit with my chest with all the solvents and also I do invite people here into a studio and I didn't feel that I wanted it to be always smelling of solvents so it gets rid of that smell of solvents using these and a lot of people prefer it for the health not to, to use the traditional oil solvents but the great thing is I don't particularly like using acrylics all that much because I find they dry out very quickly with these it's like working with a traditional oil they don't dry out too quickly and they have that same nice texture the same lo lovely depth of colour so I use the Winsor & Newton mainly because I've used Winsor & Newton with my watercolours and with the traditional oils and so it was sort of one to go for for me and if you look for the word artisan on all the Winsor & Newton products the artisan is the one that is the water mixable one so you can mix them with water and use water to thin them I don't so much do that I feel that if you do that you're lessening your pigment and they can look a little dull and not just as vibrant I use water mainly just for washing my brushes so in between each colour when I want to keep my colours nice and fresh I give my brushes a clean off in some water and then to actually thin them or to make them more workable I use linseed oil this does mean that the drying time is quite slow like traditional oils so this one here I'll put the link in the corner for this video that I did last week of this peacock now this one was done a good 10 days ago and if you can look at the sheen on it you can see that is still very wet so don't expect these to dry quickly um, if you're using them with linseed oil like I do they will just take just as long as a traditional oil to dry but they do remain workable and that's why I like them so if you did want them to dry more quickly you can buy fast drying mediums there's this one here um, like I said look for the artisan and it just says on it fast drying medium now it does work as it says it does dry much more quickly uh, so it's soon touch dry when you add this to your paint however it's a little bit sticky and you can see around there it's, it's sort of a very sticky thing to work with and for me it does dry a little bit too quickly um, so you just use a tiny bit and it will help with the drying process and the other thing is it will increase the gloss so it makes a very shiny finish on your painting that one so it is it's useful for some applications it depends what you're doing and what sort of finish you like but it can sometimes just dry a little bit too quickly if you want to keep working on your painting but again if it's artisan that means that you can use it with these paints so there's lots of things you can buy in the artisan range you can buy a thinner um, which is low odour and non-toxic so again you've not got that, that smell but I really don't actually although I, I got this to try when it says keeps them maintains the oily feel and keeps colours open for longer than with water so it's telling you that it's, it's better than water because it's uh, not lessening the colour there but again I use I'm, I tend to use linseed oil more than I use that and the varnishes you need the special artisan varnishes so again they don't they're not uh, very smelly they're quite nice and uh, you can take these off um, you know if you've made a mistake with them they are removable so you can get different finishes that's a satin one okay so um, these are the colours I used in the peacock last week that's why they're there so you can get all the traditional colours some are different textures than others and some dry differently to others um, as with traditional oils you'll find that some colours dry more quickly than others this cadmium yellow takes forever to dry um, so if you're doing anything with that you may want to add a bit of that fast drying medium because the cadmium yellow just seems to take forever okay and this is what I use as a palette um, it's tear off uh, disposable but there's quite a few sheets and I don't know if it's a, yeah 50 sheets so it lasts you quite a while so it's a nice finish on that and you can just work quite well on that uh, and then just tear them off and go on to the next one actually it looks like I need a new one quite soon but I've used that a lot and I find that uh, a good thing to use 
And when I finish the painting, if I've got some spare paint left over, um, this is a food container. I think it actually came, oops, sorry, just get that off. It actually came with some uh, crispy pancakes in there from the, the Chinese. So I've put the spare colour on the lid, just what was left over from doing that, and I give it a little squirt of water and then pop that on the top and that will keep them for quite a long time. Um, they don't dry out quickly in there with that little bit of water on them. So you can use those again rather than chucking them away. The only thing I really don't like about the Windsor and Newton, and it's the same with everything, uh, traditional ones as well, and with the inks and other things that you buy from Windsor and Newton, is the lids. They can be a real nuisance to get off. I've always got a pair of pliers in the studio uh, and I nearly always have to get these um, because of the child safety ones. I've nearly always got to get them off with my pliers, which is a bit of a bind really. But that's the only drawback with them. I love the, I love the products themselves, but I really don't like the lids. So if you're listening, uh, Windsor & Newton can I have some different lids, please. Yeah, so that's about it with the oils. So the benefits really are great. Uh, the fact that you don't have those horrible smells with the solvents, they remain workable and you've got those brilliant colours. Um, like I say, not like the acrylics that for me dry way too quickly. Okay, so I'd just like to take the opportunity in this uh, little short video to say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to my channel recently. You may have noticed this week that I've gone over 500 subscribers. Um, I started uploading my videos regularly uh, last August, so I'm quite pleased that uh, we've got to that level already. And I would like to say thank you very much for supporting me, um, especially all of those that you leave, leave the lovely comments um, and contact me uh, and ask me about what I'm doing. That's great. So thank you very much for your support. It's, uh, it's very valuable to me. Thank you. And as I had such great support, I'd like to actually support a young man who recently spoke to me um, about his own channel that he's just started. And he's a young man called Christopher, uh, a very talented young man, only 15 years old, who's just started his little art channel to show us some of his work. So I'm going to pop a link down below to Christopher's channel so you can go and have a look at his lovely watercolours. Um, I particularly like his skies. He's got a, a great style. Um, for such a young person to have developed their own unique style, it's great. So if you do have time, just go and have a look at some of Christopher's work. Okay, so like I said, thank you very, very much. It's great to get to the 500 subscribers and it's, it's lovely to have that support from you. And again, if there's anything uh, that you want me to talk about, any materials, uh, subjects, techniques that I haven't shown you that you really want me to show you, um, just pop that down in the comments below and I'll get on to that as soon as possible. So that's all I think um, I need to say about the water mixable oils for now. I'll be doing more work with them, but I will also be going back to doing more on brush -o and watercolour and drawing as well. I'll keep mixing it up, um, doing something different every week if I can. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Bye for now.